Hey guys, it's Marvi and I am back with another video. Today's video, we are going to be discussing uh, my favorite drugstore lip products. So I wanted to kind of do a series where I talk about drugstore products specifically and break them up into different categories. So, you know, eyes, uh, lips, complexion, brow products, stuff like that. Um, because I think that it would be really beneficial for a lot of people. I buy a lot of drugstore makeup. Um, I buy a lot of drugstore products. Um, so I wanted to discuss it and kind of talk about them. And yeah, so today I have different categories. I have lip liners, lip glosses, I have lipsticks, and I have lip scrubs. So uh, why don't we get started with the lip liners? First one is from NYX Cosmetics. This is um in the shade need me uh this is what it looks like it is very very uh deep it is very very deep and it is like a i would say like a mauvey brown that's what i would describe it as um the reason it's in this video is not necessarily because of the color i'm actually not a big fan of this color i think it's way too deep for me um, and I love like nude browns like that's like my favorite kind of lip product for the most part um, This is a little too deep for me um, But I really really like the formula of this lip liner. It is very very creamy It glides on and it blends really well. So I hate when lip liners you put them on and then they're so like stiff that you can't really mix them in with lip glosses or lipsticks for it to look seamless. Um, it just looks like a lip line. I hate that. So that's why I like the NYX ones because they're just really, really creamy um, and they blend in really well. So, um, and they have a lot of staying power too. So I will list in the description box all of the prices of these products and where I purchased them. Majority of them come from Ulta. Um, as you know, Ulta sells a lot of drugstore brands. So yeah, um, I really, really like this product, um, but because of the color, um, I think that I would give it um, like a B. I, I don't really use it. I use it more in the fall, winter time, but it's decent and I just really like the formula. So I think when I um, in, 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 the sh in the market for more lip liners, which not right now, um, I will probably purchase this in a better color that I enjoy, more like a nude brown, so. Okay, next one is also from NYX. This is, um, so these are both lip liners. This is the Slide On Glide On lip liner, and then this older brand, this older one is SPL 860, and this is in Peekaboo Neutral. Um, this is a really, really nice lip liner too, and particularly the shade it is pretty much a solid dupe for charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner the original one um this is a very very good dupe for it i know this for a fact because i actually have that lip liner and they are pretty much indistinguishable so um and this is like a fraction of the price so yeah i really like this one too this one has a lot of staying power as well it's not as creamy as the other one but um, I still really enjoy it, and because it's such a good dupe for um, for Pillow Talk, I mean, it's just really, really good. Um, I just love these drugstore lip liners. I think they're better than high-end, so yeah, this is like A+. plus. Okay, um, this one is very, very old. This is from Milani. This is the Color Statement Lip Liner. I've had this for a very long time. I have it in the shade 08. Um, I bought this as a set. So this is not something that I wear every day. This is like a really fun, like, you know, berry kind of color. Um, I use this in conjunction with the Milani lipstick that I will talk about in a minute. Um, but it's a very good lip liner too. It really glides on and it stays in place and it keeps that lipstick in place too. So I really, really like it. Um, I think if I had to buy more lip liners, I prefer the NYX ones over these just because the NYX ones are like a tad bit creamier, but these are still really good. This is like, and it's a cool color. It's 08 Fuchsia. Um, it's just like a fun, like when I wanna do a statement lip, I will do this. 
um yeah really really good b plus this is a great product as well and um yeah very inexpensive so the last lip liner is from morphe um i wanted to talk about morphe in this video only because morphe is not sold it's not sold at um you know drugstores across the u.s but it is sold at ulta and the price point is uh, very similar to drugstore. Um, a lot of the Morphe products are actually uh, cheaper than the drugstore brands like Maybelline and L'Oreal and stuff like that. So that's why I wanted to mention them. Um, this is a very problematic brand, so I try not to buy their products too often. Um, but sometimes, you know, I want to try some of their products and um, their products are really good. I mean, honestly, a lot of the stuff I bought from Morphe I really, really like. If you guys watched my um, eyeshadow palette video that I just recently did, I did talk about a little Morphe eyeshadow trio, and I did mention how I didn't like it, but Morphe's lip products are very good. So anyways, I have this lip liner in the shade Honeymoon. Um, this, is a, this is the kind of um, lip liner that I wear on a regular basis. It is just a really beautiful, like, nude brown. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is what I will wear on the regular. And like I said, I like this because these are even creamier than the NYX ones. Um, so they, they blend into any other lip product that you put over it seamlessly without minimal effort and um, with minimal effort. And yeah, they're really, really good. I think I paid, I don't even know, like maybe $4, $5 for this. So, and I really like it. I love the color. Um, and if I run out of this, I will definitely be purchasing it again. So this gets an A plus for me. Okay, that's it for lip liners. Um, I think we should talk about um, lipsticks because I want to save lip glosses because lip glosses are my favorite. So let's get the lipsticks out of the way. Okay. This lipstick is from NYX. This is their matte lipstick. I have it in MLS05. Um, the color is called Indie Flick. Now, this is like a really fun burnt orange, like a red orange kind of color. Um, this is really, really fun for the summer. Um, that's usually when I wear it. Again, this is like when you want to do a statement lip. I don't do these kind of colors often. Um, I do pretty neutral lips. But sometimes I want to have a little fun, so I do like fun stuff like that. That's what it looks like. Um, this is a really solid lipstick. Um, the only thing I will say is it does require a lot of reapplication, and then it starts to get kind of chunky after a little while. Um, and by a little while, I mean like three, four hours, so that's pretty normal. Um, I do kind of have to take it all off and then reapply like a brand new layer. Um, but I don't mind doing that because I think this lipstick was like, I don't know, $5 or something. And it's really, really good quality. It's a fun color. And um, yeah, I don't really wear a lot of lipstick um, as of late. But like I said, when I want like a fun color for the summer especially, this is what I will go for. So this gets like solid A. Um, next is this one from Milani. So this one goes um, hand in hand with this lip liner. Um, it is um, in shade 20 Uptown Mauve, that's what it's called. Um, and I think these Milani lipsticks are still available. I don't really know what they're called. They're just like the lipsticks there. Um, this is a really creamy lipstick. This one has really good staying power. Um, it does require reapplication, but not that much. It is a really fun, beautiful, like fuchsia berry mauve. Um, again, when I want a statement lip, I will do something like this. It's not often, um, but I do do it sometimes. So yeah, really, really fun color. I like this. This would get a solid B. Okay, last but not least for lipsticks is another lipstick from Milani. This is the, yeah, this is their new lipsticks. I don't know exactly what the, like, the kind is called, but I have it in 430 Secret. Now, let me start off by saying this is a perfect dupe for pillow talk perfect dupe for pillow talk that's what it looks like i i have tested this out many times i can do it on camera if you guys would like me to i will do my top lip with this with secret i'll do the bottom lip with, lip with pillow talk 
you cannot tell the difference at all. The formula, the finish, and the color are identical. Identical. So this is a really, really good dupe. I love it so much. I actually prefer it over my Pillow Talk just because it's a little bit softer, like on the lips. Oh, this is such a good lipstick. I think if out of all the lipsticks I mentioned, if you're gonna buy a lipstick, you should buy Secret. Or if you don't like the shade, like if Pillow Talk is like not your thing, then they have so many other shades, but the formula of this one in particular is fantastic. And I think these were like eight, nine dollars. I don't know. So A plus. Okay, let's talk about the lip scrub. This is from e.l.f. This is their um, liquid li lip exfoliator in the scent Sweet Cherry. That is what it looks like. Um, I think it was like, I don't even know, a long time ago, I did purchase their other lip exfoliator, um, the, like the brown one. I really did not like it, um, but I heard everyone talk about the sweet cherry one. And yeah, it smells like sweet cherry and it really works. It is an amazing, amazing lip exfoliator. Um, I have another one that is from the brand Hemp's, the lotion brand. Um, and that one, I don't like it because it's in like a lip gloss tube. And so the oil and like the sugar, they separate. And so I have to really finesse the, the lipstick tube in order to get like a good amount of the oil and the sugar in order to get like a nice lip scrub. With this, I don't have to do that because it's in the lipstick form. So it's just there and you just do it in like circular motions and it really exfoliates your lips. I think this was like four or five dollars. I bought this at Target. Um, this is a really, really good product. I think everyone should have this. If you have lips, you need this. And yeah, A plus. Last but not least, it's my favorite category, lip gloss. So let's start off with this one from Morphe. Again, I told you guys, I really like Morphe's lip products. Um, this is their lip gloss in the shade Froze. This is, I've gotten a lot of use out of this, as you can see. Um, it is just such a beautiful shade. Um, it has reflective crystals in it um, and it has like bluish, goldish, pinkish reflexes in it. That's what it looks like. Um, it's pretty neutral on the lips. Um, it doesn't give like a huge statement. So what I, you can kind of consider it like a clear lip gloss. It's very close to being clear, um, but I really like it because I use it like in conjunction with this lip liner. I'll put the lip liner on and then I'll put this. And this is a really nice combo. It just, you just look glowing, fresh, pretty. Like it just gives like a nice glow to the lips. I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, it wears pretty well. It's not too sticky, um, but it's not too like oily either because it is a lip gloss. Um, and it's really, really good. I think this was like $5 as well. This is a very, very good product and um, a plus, very good lip gloss. Okay, next is this lip gloss from Milani. Now, if you guys watch my makeup I hate video, which I posted like, I think two months ago, three months ago, I did mention this lip, lip gloss in there. Now, I wanna retract my statement. Um, I actually like this lip gloss now. Um, I used it a little bit more after I made that video because I was trying to finish it up. So in the process of me trying to finish it up, I actually started enjoying it a lot. Um, it doesn't really plump as much as I would like, but I really like the doe foot because the doe foot is really like thick. Um, it is in the shade Prismatic Peach. Um, I do wish it was more of a lip plumper, but it's just a beautiful gloss, you guys. I mean. I didn't really appreciate it until I started to use it a lot to try and finish it. That's what it looks like. It's just a really beautiful gloss and I think it costs like $6 or something. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really good lip gloss. It is a little bit um, stickier than the Morphe one, um, but I just think it just looks really nice on the lips and it just gives like a beautiful sheen without like too much color. And yeah, I really liked it. So I would give this like a solid B. This is a good lip gloss, but it is marketed as a lip plumper and I don't think that it does that, so. Okay, last but not least is the, this is also from Milani. 
This is the Fruit Fetish. I have it in Strawberry Melon. This is a lip oil. Um, I like this too. I think that this is a decent dupe for the Dior lip oils. That's what it looks like down there. It smells so good. It smells like, it literally smells like strawberry. It smells so yummy. Um, I think it's a pretty good dupe for um, Dior. I don't like when things are marketed as lip oils um, and they're not as emollient as an oil. Um, they are, this one and the Dior one, which I have, are both um, the consistency of a lip gloss. I think that it is um, deceiving to market them as lip oils. I don't think that they're lip oils. I think they're lip glosses um, because I just don't think that they're emollient enough. Um, but the reason I like this is because of the color. So once the gloss will dissipate, it will stain your lips and it'll leave it this like nice like pink color. And I think it's really pretty. So I like to take this and use it on days where I don't want to like take this with me. Like if I'm out and about, I like to put this on and then it'll stain my lips so I keep I like retain the color while I'm out doing a bunch of stuff so that's why I really like this so this gives a solid A as well um I think I paid like eight dollars for this as well um and yeah I think that these kind of products like they're so good I don't think that it's necessary really to go out and pay eighteen dollars you know fifteen dollars twenty dollars for a lip gloss or a lip liner or a lipstick from you know the higher end brands at Sephora. So um, I think if you can find really good products at good prices, I think that that makes makeup so much more accessible and fun because um, you can buy more of it. <laughs> you can have more fun, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know down in the comments if any of you have tried any of these uh, products, um, what your thoughts are and um, yeah, I, I will be doing more videos like this soon. Um, I will cover eyes and complexion and stuff like that. So yeah, until next time. Bye.